Hey everyone, Chris here from Protocase with another Proto Tech Tip, and today I'm going to show you the transfer and closure design feature inside Protocase Designer. So, Protocase Designer enables you to design custom enclosures and parts quickly and easily without having any CAD experience at all. How? Well, everything is template based. You pick the enclosure style and then tell the software the parameters of what you need, such as the dimensions, material, thickness, finish, fastener type, and more. Protocase Designer then creates the blank enclosure design so you can customize it with your cutouts, fasteners, graphics, and more. But what if you're not sure which enclosure type is going to work best for your project? Well, that's where the transfer enclosure design feature comes into play. You can transfer your enclosure design even with the cutouts, graphics, and fasteners already applied. This is a helpful feature when you are prototyping and trying to figure out the right design for your electronics, or if you want to present different enclosure options to your managers or design team. So let's get started and let me show you how to transfer between enclosure types inside Protocase Designer. I've got an L-shaped enclosure here that I've already customized with some custom cutouts as well as a face with a digitally printed graphic. We're going to switch this design to a U-shaped enclosure. In the 3D view, I'm going to go to File in the top menu and choose Transfer to New Enclosure. And now you're going to see a dialog open called Transfer Design to New Assembly. Here, you'll need to select the new enclosure that you want to transfer your existing enclosure to. In my case, I'm going to pick a U-shaped enclosure. Now, this is where you can also change any of the parameters of your enclosure design. So things like metal type, powder coat color, screw type, width, height, depth, and more. I'm going to keep all my parameters the same, except I'm going to change the width to be 12 inches. So one thing to note about parameters, Protocase Designer will transfer parameters between two of the same types of enclosures. For example, if you're transferring between two types of extruded aluminum enclosures, the parameters will stay the same. However, if you are changing from a U-shape to a rack mount, you may need to change some of the parameters to ensure that your design fits onto the new enclosure type properly. So now we see a new dialog open called Transfer to a New Enclosure. This is where you'll need to choose which face from the existing enclosure design should be transferred to your new designer assembly. But you can also manually change any face that you wish. So I do recommend going through each parameter just to make sure that it's going to be transferring to the right spot. Protocase Designer is going to do its best to automatically detect which side should be transferred to which face, but it's not always foolproof. Another tip, instead of transferring this face, you can also opt to drop this face. This may be necessary if the enclosure to which you are transferring has fewer faces than the original enclosure that you started with. For instance, if you transferred from a consulate to a U-shape enclosure, you'll likely need to drop at least one face, such as the slope front. In my case, I'm going to drop the welded jig bottom and front, because they're not needed in my U-shape enclosure design. Another tip, if you need a quick reference of the basic shape of the enclosure style that you're transferring to, click the diagram link next to new assembly header. I find this a helpful thing to check to make sure that I understand which face is which. So once you have completed indicating which faces should be transferred to your new enclosure, you can click continue. If your original enclosure had a lot of elements and features to it, it may take the software a few moments to process the transfer. Okay, so now I can see my new enclosure which has been transferred to a U-shape. You can see that the cutouts that were transferred don't actually need to be adjusted, but my digitally printed graphic on the top of my enclosure needs to be fixed. I'm going to go into the face editor and do that now. So one final note of caution, sometimes template features such as handles for a rack mount may not transfer to the new enclosure design. If this is the case, you're going to need to go in and manually re-add them yourself. And with that, that's all you need to know about using the transfer enclosure design feature in Protocase Designer. Remember, when you're prototyping, it can be useful to try out different enclosure types for your build and even get them quoted instantly so you can do a cost comparison. And be sure to check out the Protocase Designer playlist for more tutorials and guides. And of course, if you haven't already, download Protocase Designer. It can free up a lot of your time so you can focus on other parts of your project. Thanks for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip, and we'll see you again back here next week.